You know that feeling when completing a really really good game? The satisfaction and the feeling of accomplishments once you finally see the credits roll. Well, that's typically what you feel about a good game. And I'ma tell you that these are the most horrible things and it being called a video game is an overstatement. If you like a well put together game with at least acceptable gameplay, well, then you're in for a horrific ride. These are some games with an incredibly low rating, with some even reaching single digits as the rating, and that's bad. Of course there's bad games out there, some with bad writing, poor graphics, but with these games, you have to pray that they can even start, cause... Hello everybody and welcome to some of the worst games on Steam. First off, there's this game called War of Three Kingdoms, which released back in 2018. The overall design looks pretty basic with a majorly reused theme. This game has a whooping 26 percent as the recent rating. <laughs> What the... What language is this? And why is it not running in full screen? Um... How am I supposed to tell what this means? This has to say play or like continue. And holy shit is the music loud. What kind of Genshin Impact game is this? What is this? Holy shit is that Master Shifu? Long before time had a name. I mean, I can't understand a thing they're talking about since I can't read this. What the- Oh! Is this girl in trouble or something? Nope, I just can't do this. Uh, okay, we have an army right now, I guess. So are they going to tell the story or what? Okay, we're starting the battle. I'm winning? Oh, I won! What is this? Now, I have a 50-50 chance of continuing this game, and I hope I randomly choose quit, cause this is painful to play. Oh no! I mean, I'm hating on it a lot cause of its only language setting. Yes, I did double check and that's the only setting. Bruh. But genuinely, this is just garbage. <laughs> Oh, I get to actually play now. Place one there and go. Place a couple more, just to be sure. Okay, I win again. Even though I just simply clicked like two times. Why are you telling me to drag something to that slot? I have nothing to drag. Okay, but I think this pink can stop now. Since I really couldn't do anything after that. I genuinely tried to enjoy the game. Since I had really low expectations. But I didn't find any joy in that. This game really shouldn't be on Steam. And I think the majority agrees with me on that. No English support at all. Two script errors game doesn't even start, biggest waste of my entire life even though I spent like 4 minutes on it. I wouldn't even recommend it even if they paid me a lot. Like, a lot. War of Three Kingdoms launches in Chinese. You cannot change the language because you're forced for some cutscenes and battle. Game is locked at 24 FPS so it looks very choppy. Then game just froze, would not interact with any keys and had to simply force close that. No English, sad. Yeah, I think they agree. As a last thing, I just want to ask Steam, personally, how this game has been around for nearly 5 years without being taken down. Like, what? The next game seems to be somewhat better, and worse in a lot of ways. Whilst having a good idea for a game, it is still just horrible. And I think most who've played this can say the same. The second game is called Gasp and has a 22% rating, which is worse than the previous game. But at least it may have potential, right? No, it doesn't. This game has nothing going for it because of the developer's lack of motivation. It apparently is just a vessel for a great game. This game is apparently just an empty shell with no content whatsoever. How in all of can a game such as that exist on the biggest video game platform, Steam? Now, let's roast the shit out of this game. You know the game is bad when you have to configure the graphics yourself. Oh yeah, you can apparently unlock the $3 expansion pass for free by just clicking E. And that unlocks Mars, I guess. That's a real interesting choice, developers. Oh my god. Why can you see my cursor? Okay, they at least had the budget for voice acting. And it's in English. Where is there bowling balls falling from the sky? Okay, so all of basically have to do is walk 5,000 meters. Huh? How am I supposed to dodge that? Why am I taking random damage all of a sudden? I mean, this is kind of cool. As some of you may know, I really like space. It makes me kind of hypocritical about the game, but to have a space game like this would be cool. Just a bit more refined. 
I just wish the developers put more effort into this game because this walking, walking, and more walking, it is really not entertaining. Like, come on, Dark Day Interactive. You had this, or at least you had an idea. Oh, and why did they bother making achievements? And no, I'm not going to go to all of these places because it will probably take multiple hours. And we don't have time for that. Even the nearest one took almost 30 minutes to get to. Oh, I can almost see something now. Oh, what is this? Uh, okay, I can't interact with it. Are you telling me I walked for 30 minutes just for two achievements? Bruh. Well, this game for now has literally no content. For the player to walk 30 minutes just to encounter any sort of content is just horrible. But let's see what others thought of it. It could have been interesting, but it wasn't. Also, horribly it wasn't. Two bits of dialogue and an hour of heavy breathing as you walk slowly, maybe hop a little, to very buggy points of interest, where nothing happens. Unless it's the ending, then you get to the second bit of dialogue. If I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have bothered at all. Holy shit, this guy's definitely not happy with the game. Oh, this guy's mad. Water like a penguin for two kilometers as you get pelted by harmless asteroids until you hit an invisible wall 500 meters from the objective. And this guy actually recommends the game, weirdly enough. This next game is so horrifically bad, they've had it in early access mode for four years. This game barely touches the single digits as a rating with an astonishing 11%. It had a lower rating some days before this recording. The recent 8% rating had gone up to 11% because of the kind hearts that saw potential in this. But I can tell you that this game is just awful. The previous ones were free lucky enough, but this game costs $10 to play. New Life is about being a thief and living the dangerous life avoiding the police whilst trying to live a fortunate life. You can actually see many similarities between this game and Grand Theft Auto, aka GTA, except the quality between them. Okay, this is the first game out of the games with actually decent graphics. Not looking bad. Uh, are you selling guns? Cause you're standing right beside a gun shop sign. Okay, this is a bit wonky. Why is this just open? Anybody can just come in here and like take a gun and do whatever. I mean, America, I guess. Uh, I'm holding a gun. Now I have a gun. Okay, so in this game, you're supposed to rob people. So I'm gonna start with this businessman over here. Give me your money! Oh, shit. I... Why is there no life in this city? Give me your money! Oh, yes. Oh, I can drive. Holy shit, the... Oh... Oh, these keybinds are very wonky. Why is it inverse? Why is the sensitivity inverse? Okay, I have no clue what I'm supposed to do. Can I turn myself into the police? Hello, I'd like to apply to a job. Okay, a few minutes ago I was a criminal, and now I'm a cop. Why is there just an empty room here? Well, is there any point in this game? I think the developers just aim for another GTA-like game. Okay, there's a robbery occurring. Either this man's aim is awful, or am I not taking any damage from him? Okay, I died. Why did they think this would be a good idea? And how does this game even cost money? This could honestly be considered considered a scam, but don't take my word on that, cause it's still my fault I bought it. What? What? Okay, I've bugged the game. Oh, you definitely do not want your delivery to be slow like a tortoise, so that's bad marketing. And I'm talking to you. Okay, that's definitely not normal car behavior. How does this game cost money? <sighs> I bought it and got stuck in an apartment and could not leave at all. The game is literally so far from done you would not believe. The game is basically broken, you earn money by buying seeds. Going to refund this game? Absolutely garbage. This is the first comment to the game. Hey, it actually is. And it is really not worth buying. Pros? None. Cons? The game itself is a con. Don't spend your money on this game, go buy a large burger. Definitely some solid advice. This is a complete waste of time. Why make a game that's not even a game? There is nothing to this at all. This is a scam. The so-called game consists of loading in and walking around in glitchy an apartment which you cannot even exit. This needs to be removed from Steam. Refund and remove. So there you have it. Three games which you should never play or do, but you'll regret it like I did. I obviously had prepared myself for the games to be bad, even though I had low expectations, even that didn't make the game less disappointing. I 
mean, come on. Having one language setting, no gameplay, and no dedication at all, you really can't classify that as a video game. And to make it worse, the thing is that all of these games are up on the biggest video game platform, Steam. But overall, I'd say we successfully found three pretty bad games. And that is what mattered at the end of the day. And, as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Now quickly refund this game.